Hey there, Bridge family. It's Pastor Jeff, and I wanted to come and talk to you this morning because God is on the move yet again in and through our Bridge family. What a blessed people we are. You see, I want to give you an update uh, from a couple of weeks ago when I told you that God was moving in and through our prison ministry. Well, yesterday, Chaplain Mike and I went and we met for the first time with a new group of men from a new prison here in Vermont. And, and let me just tell you, God was so powerfully evident. One of the men that we met with who said, I'll be bringing more people back with me next week. I can see God here moving and I see the value of meeting with you as you come to disciple us within the walls of the prison. This one man, his name is Matthew, said, I want you to know that I know that I'm here as a part of God's plan. And while I don't pride myself on what I've done wrong to get here, I recognize that this is my mission field and I will come back and we will grow together. Thank you for coming. Another gentleman said things very similar to that. And his, his response was a little sharper, had a little more edge to it. And when I asked him what he came expecting, he said, well, frankly, I didn't know what to expect. And I came to see if you would literally tell the truth and not be one of those people that come and water down the Bible, which I would have no stomach for. He said, but I see that you are really going to teach the fullness of what the Bible teaches. And so I too will come back and I too will bring more with us next week. So praise God, he's on the move in us and through us yet again. Now, what I wasn't able to tell you last time was that the person that we went to go find and see in prison number two, has, since my last recording, been moved now to a third new prison. And praise God, while that prison is about an hour north of us, we're in the process and going through the paperwork to get in there and not only continue to disciple the gentleman that God has brought into our lives, but to again seek to carry this message of the gospel into now what will be a third prison. I don't know if that door is going to be open to us, but we're going to knock at it and we're going to continue to follow where the Lord is leading no matter what. Now, to that end, let me tell you about what God did here this morning. At 5 a.m. Eastern time, I connected with the seminary students and staff in India, and we had a session that was so blessed, so blessed. You see, We've been working towards putting together a curriculum, a church planting curriculum. That's the way they look at it. But as of this morning, I've asked them if we could, at least for my part and for what we're doing together, to change the vocabulary. And we have put together what is now beginning to unfold, a gospel planting curriculum for the seminary there in India. And we've laid out three levels of training. Gospel planting at the learner level, the leader level, and the lifer level. You, you may recognize that language. It comes from our life cycle. But for most folks, it, it would be kind of like gospel planting 101, 201, and 301. And herein, we've established now three curriculum that are designed to go together and build upon one another. And that curriculum will be 40 hours for each level. And as of today, literally about an hour ago, the seminary students now as a part of their training and their time in the seminary will spend 30 minutes a day watching some of the Bridge family training, what, what is a part of our DNA, Bridge family, what you have been exposed to either in the preaching and teaching or perhaps the advanced individual training times or some of the videos like this one that I have sent out with intentionality to help to equip and disciple our family. These have now been captured and pulled together. We're, we're literally in the process of creating a gospel planting set of pages on our website that the students in India will watch 30 minutes a day 
And then on Thursday mornings at 5 a.m. our time, so please, if you're up that time, pray, or Wednesday night before you go to sleep, pray for the Thursday morning session with the India Seminary students. But each week, we will be going over what they have watched during the week, uh, approximately two and a half to three hours of training videos. And then on Thursday mornings, we'll come together in a equipping time that will be much like our AITs, where we will have the content delivered via the video training that they will watch throughout the week. And they'll have the curriculum or the lecture notes that I've put together. And then on Thursday mornings, our time, now they're 10 and a half hours ahead of us, so it's the end of the day for them, the beginning of the day for me. We will then review and discuss and literally go through an apprenticeship type of equipping, discipleship where they then will bring their questions, I'll bring challenge to them, but we'll have that apprenticeship type of discipleship happening every Thursday morning. So I, I just want you to know and see God is at work locally, regionally, and globally. He's at work in and through the dynamics of our internal family, and at the same time, he's working through our family to get out to the least of these, to go locally, regionally, and globally. And as I've shared with you before, some of the students there in India have made it clear that while many have a call to go back to their very dangerous villages, some have gone so far as to say, I know God has called me to go out beyond the walls of India. And while I don't know where I'm going, I'm ready to say, yes, Lord, to wherever in the world the Lord will send me from this place in India. So whether it's on Kent Island in Maryland, in the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont, across the city of Kampala, or in the depths of the slums there in Uganda, or in the southern tip of India, or to the most remote and difficult villages in the Northeast and Northwest of India, just see God is at work in us and through us. What a blessed people we are to be the biblical family of God, to be the Acts 1-8 church that Christ died to give life to, that we are being the bride of Christ, the people of Almighty God. We are the church that Christ has given life to. What a blessed people we are. I pray that you'll continue to press in and embrace all that the Lord has called, created, and commissioned you to be, dear brother or sister. We are the chain. The world is waiting for we've got to the street Now's the time for us to ride Carry hope and love shine Show this world mercy is alive Now's the time for us to ride Carry hope to hopeless side